close the power, centralize the controls. He's out of the dark. Ah, there was an inverted flat foot. Right, so we have just arrived at Kitty Hawk and I see that the extra is the first aeroplane that's parked in the hangar there so that is what we'll be doing today it is an extra 200 and we're going to be doing some advanced spin training which is interesting <laughs> to say the least a little bit nervous but let's see what happens we're going to do upright normal spins accelerated spins and then you know power on everything you know to increase the pro spin forces and then we'll do all of that again upside down uh, spin recovery is not necessarily guaranteed in, 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 in order i mean that's why some airplanes are certified for spinning and so on step number one close the time step number two take the stick in other words aileron and elevator and park it in the middle just centralize it So you're happy to do the takeoff? Yep. So just make sure that your feet are, are on the rotor pedals, but but quite far back so that you don't inadvertently get on, yep. on the brakes. It's quite easy to get on the brakes. Kitty Hawk traffic, Echo Delta Bravo is lining up roading runway 19, turning out right into the aerobatic box. Bit of forward pressure on the stick, a bit more. Hold that attitude. Just hold that attitude. You don't need the nose any lower than that. Hold that attitude. Chill fly. That's nice. There we go. Oh, nothing wrong with it. And right turn. Oh, you can start a right turn. Sure, you can feel it's very slippery. <laughs> yeah, I was going to see if I can get hold of radar. Cool. Kind of good radar. Good morning. Uh, Zulu Sierra Echo Delta Bravo, Kitty Hawk Aerobatic Box. Delta Bravo, go ahead. Uh, good morning. Requesting the aerobatic box up to level 100, please, uh, for the next 30 minutes. Please do it. Okay, back with you. Yeah, I can feel it. It's quite snappy, eh? Yeah. Just a small little touch. Yeah, well, just level us off for a second. And uh, just accelerate a little bit, not much. And then just do a roll like you would in the RV, but use lots of aileron. Okay, okay so, so fix the nose up slightly and roll. Go. Jeepers. Okay. And that, that was only about half aileron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Okay, so now raise the nose and climb again. Okay, so we're going to go straight into this. We don't want to waste time. As soon as we're at level 100, we're going to go into the first spin, which is going to be to the left. They'll all be to the left, yep. other than the inverted spin. Ah, so if you start pulling the nose up now, bring it down to about 60 knots, you'll start to feel you're getting close to that critical angle of attack. We're back on the acro tank. Follow through with me. Okay, I'm following through. I have control exactly 10,000 feet for the spin to the left. Here we go. Throttle closed. Stick fall back. Pull left rudder, and around we go. Right, that's about three turns. Full opposite aileron coming now, watch this. Sure we. <laughs> Incredible. Eight, okay, recover. Oh, it the full. Centralized rudder and elevator. He's out of the dive. Full power. You've got control. I've uh, got it. We, we started the recovery at uh, 7,800 feet and we came out at about 7,800 feet for the actual recovery. Yeah. Climb us back up. Cool. I'd like you to do the same thing. Now that's a fully developed spin. And yeah. you can see how it accelerated without a spin aileron. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so what I want you to do is I want you to do exactly the same thing. But when I say right aileron, Keep the stick hard back and give full right aileron. And then obviously the recovery, close the power, centralize rudder and aileron. Cool. So centralize rudder and aileron until it flies out. Hey, uh, you'll see, it'll stop. It takes so, a turn, but it'll stop. So no opposite rudder? No, okay, just, cool. just centralize everything, as, as in Bill Finnegan's procedure. Yeah, okay. So what yep. I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to do a standard spin entry. Okay. okay? Uh, keep the stick hard back, full left rudder. Yeah. Then I'm going to say full right aileron. Yeah. Okay? And then with full right aileron, 
and the stick pull back and pull left right up and it's a full power. Take yep. the throttle, open the power all the way, nice and smoothly. Okay. And then I'm going to say recover and uh, what you do, shout, close the power, yep. centralize flight control. Yep. Happy? Cool. Okay, cap it off, start coming back on the power because we're starting with the, with the throttle closed. Standard spin entry, throttle all the way back and feel it in. That's it, stick hard back, pull left rudder, let it, let it stabilize first. Make sure the rudder's all the way in, that's yep. it. Okay, pull opposite aileron. Stick hard back, full power. Shoo! Keep your traffic covered by QD and radio check. Recover! Cut the power, sense of the controls. Yep. Zero, we see them on our turning left face, four and a one man. And pull out of the dive. Took a little longer, but uh, there it is. Works. Yeah, very cool. And that was a proper flat spin. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, let's fly back up. I want to. I want to look at two permutations of inverted spin, and and you can start to see how vitally important it is that the ailerons, particularly, are well managed. Yes. The arbitrary aileron inputs could kill you. You know. Yeah, exactly. In, in this world. But I just find it, I understand why people use extras for aerobatics now, just the recovery is, yeah. it's so, compared to the RV, it's so much quicker. Exactly, yeah. And you can feel the recovery as well. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a half loop up, and, and we're just going to look at, uh, we don't need to go as high, uh, because we're not going to hold this for quite as long, so yeah. I'm quite happy to do this from about 9-0. Okay. Um, but... Uh, so we can half loop up from about 8.5, yeah, 6 or 700 feet half loop up, we'll be at about 9.2 when we enter, okay. I'm quite happy with that. So do a nice climbing turn to the right, back onto a northerly heading. By the time you get to 9.0, I'll be happy with the energy. That's fine, I'm quite happy with the height, you've got a lot of speed as well. So lower the nose for a half loop up. Um, Keep that, hold that attitude, hold that attitude. That's enough energy. Level it off. Draw the line first. Okay, half loop up, go. Keep it pitching. Start pushing now. Close the power. Push hard, full right rudder. Right. Pick full forward, full right rudder. Right. Hold it. Just hold it. Hold it, go for the right. Go for the right. Go for the right. Recover. Close the power. A little bit slow to get the stick neutral, but uh, so you kept a little bit of forward pressure on maybe yeah. for a bit long, but that was fine. Here we go. Okay, let's take full power and climb it back up. How was that? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, so it was absolutely fine. I think when I said centralize, you kept quite a bit of forward pressure on. Yeah, okay. So if you a little bit more quick with centralizing, yeah. and, and that center position, is maybe a little bit more off stick than you had. Yeah. And the recovery would have been slightly cleaner, but okay. uh, it was fine. Yeah, it's always interesting doing something for the first time because you really don't know what's going to happen. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. the objective now is to show you an inverted flat spin okay. just for a couple of turns. Yep. And I'm going to talk you through it. Are you cool. happy to do that? I'm happy. I I'm not going to demo it. I'm going to talk you through it. It's going to okay. be exactly the same thing. It's going to be half loop up. But when you get to that inverted attitude, I want you to start pushing, but yeah. I want you to leave the throttle wide open. Okay. Okay? And and, and it's keep pushing, keep pushing, stick full forward, full right rudder. It's going to go quite violently. Yeah. And then I want you to leave it. Be strong. Okay. Okay? I want it to flatten. Yeah. Uh, so, and I'm going to say to you, leave it, leave it, leave it. And then I'm going to say, recover. Yeah. Step number one, close the power. Okay. Close the power quite smartly. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a one, two, foot power off and then centralize the stick with maybe a little bit more arc pressure than you had that on that last one. Okay. Uh, it, it's all dep dependent on the, on the trip position. Yes, so. yeah. Yeah, being on the outside of the spin is certainly a, a it, yeah, much yeah. weirder. There's your, there's your human factor. Yeah. Massive startle. You imagine that that happens to you by mistake. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, line up with the runway. I'm happy with the energy. You can start the dive. Good. 150, 160 knots for a half loop up. Make sure your wings stay level in the half loop up. You had right wing slightly low on the last one. That's good enough. Level off. Okay, half loop up, go. Okay, start to push. Keep the throttle wide open. 
push hard, right threader, full right threader, full right threader. Leave it, recover! Close the power, centralize the controls. He's out of the dark. Fire boy, well done. Very nice. Ah, there was an inverted flex foot. Yeah. <laughs> The yeah. feeling is weird, but yeah. the recovery is so much easier. Yeah, so take a bit of power off there, bring it back to uh, about 15 inches. And I don't know what dragway we're going to use. It's not heading back towards Kitty Hawk. Okay, we have just got out of that beautiful, beautiful machine. Um, yeah, I mean, that is a lesson to be heard. And honestly, um, just to experience something like that based on, you know, what it feels like to be in a flat spin, to be in an inverted spin, is just something quite, <laughs> basically something that you need to do. Uh, just to... You know get that feel of what a spin is like a lot of the time these days people you know don't do any spin training whatsoever and don't know what a spin is like um sure maybe you go to, in through the incipient stages but if something goes completely wrong and you get into a you know a fully developed spin and you're not too sure what to do and then you start throwing all the wrong inputs uh yeah that flight could get very interesting and very quickly so i'm super glad i actually did that um Obviously the extra is a stunning aerobatic aircraft and yeah, I would highly recommend anyone watching this video, you know, get out and do something like this. Of course, if you're in the Joburg area, there's Trevor around that does all the spin training um, and you're going to be doing it in a very capable aircraft with a very capable instructor. So safety wise, 100% and uh, just look at that aeroplane.